Hi, Friday friends. We've been talking about ways that we can take care of ourselves, take care of our bodies. And one of the ways is to move, move around. So I've got some pictures here. Here is the park. And I'm wondering if you can think of things that you can do to, in the park to get your bodies moving. Like, did you think of going on the swings? Or playing ball? Um, how many of you are thinking about going on the slide or climbing? And maybe you could take a ball to the park and kick the ball around. Or you could take a frisbee and play frisbee. Have you ever done that? How about fly a kite? I saw some children flying kites the other day. You could take a baseball and bat and practice with that. You could even ride your bike at the park. Lots of good ideas at the park. How about this one? What if you went to the pool? What are some ways you can get your body moving at the pool? Swimming, of course. I know you thought of that. What else could you do at the pool? You could jump into the water. You could play water tag. How about floating? Or you could take a ball and play ball. That would be fun. How about if you went in your backyard? How can you get moving in your backyard? Um, running. I know you thought of that. Skipping and hopping. Have you ever ridden your bike in the backyard? Does mom let you do that? That would be fun. Do you play hide and seek? That would be fun too. I know I've seen you do it on the playground. How about if you went to the beach? What can you do to get your bodies moving at the beach? Yes, swimming, right. You could run or dig in the sand. You might even go fishing. You could take a nice walk with your family along the beach, splash around in the water a little bit. And if you're at a beach that has shells, you could pick up some shells. Sometimes you can find some really cool rocks there too. Now, another way we take care of our bodies is by eating really good foods, and we talked about that. And one way to get all kinds of foods in us is to think about the colors. Now, I like to talk about eating the rainbow. How about red? Can you think of some red foods you can eat? Hmm, let me think. How about an apple? Yeah, you were thinking that too. Um, raspberries? watermelon, even red potatoes. Strawberries are really good this time of year. About some strawberries. That's a good red one. What comes next in the rainbow? Orange. You could eat oranges, right? And cantaloupe, it's a melon, yeah. Carrots, those are very orange. That would be great. And sweet potatoes. Have you ever tried those? Very yummy. Let's see what's next in the rainbow. Yellow. First thing I thought of was bananas. Is that what you thought of too? Right. And how about corn? Right. And yellow apples are good. Very sweet. Pineapples. Yes. I bet you have some other ideas too. How about the next color in the rainbow? Green. What can we eat that's green? What do you like? Peas are really good. I like peas. And broccoli. I love broccoli. And let's see. Green beans. Yeah, that's a good one. And cucumbers. Yeah, you can even have green grapes. That would be yummy. Very sweet. Okay. The next color in our rainbow. Blue. There's not a lot of blue foods. But there is one blue food. Blueberries. And you can do lots of things with blueberries. You can make blueberry muffins. You can have blueberry yogurt and blueberry pancakes. Yeah, one of my favorites for breakfast. All right, and our last color of the rainbow, purple. Hmm, can you think of some purple foods you like? How about plums and purple grapes? Yes. And have you ever had purple lettuce? I have, yeah, it's good and cabbage, and maybe even eggplant. 
So those are foods of the rainbow. And I hope you'll give it a try sometime and say, Mom, Dad, let's eat the rainbow tonight. I think you'll really enjoy doing that. Remember, boys and girls, I miss you. I love you. Hope to see you soon. Bye.